today I'd like to share with you a small ID with a potential huge impact. An ID that can be a cost-effective approach to sustainable development, that preserves freedom of choice, that can be highly profitable, but most importantly, that can be applied right now. In other words, an ID worth spreading. To explain, I will start with tumble dryers. You've probably all seen this before. It's the standard EU energy label. It was made mandatory to encourage consumers to buy more energy efficient products. Unfortunately, it no longer has a great effect on sales. Indeed, it turns out that most of us, whatever we buy, we tend to focus too much on the sales price, ignoring the long-term operating costs. For instance, have you ever bought a really, really cheap printer? <laughs> just, you have, you have. Just, just to realize that you are ending up spending a small fortune on ink cartridges. Or have you ever considered buying a car, spending hours on figuring out how to finance the loan, totally forgetting how to take care of the cost of gas and maintenance? A tumble dryer is quite expensive in use. Not only because it eats socks, it does, but because it consumes energy, a lot of energy. So let me give you some examples. To the left, a simple, cheap model, basic features, energy grade C. And to the right, a more advanced, high-tech, expensive model, yet far more energy efficient, energy grade A+. The interesting point here is that if you add the cost of the energy use in a normal appliance's lifetime, the high-tech model actually ends up being the most affordable. Still, we keep buying the ones to the left. Therefore, I set up a small trial two years ago. Sales staff were trained to inform customers about lifetime cost and energy efficiency. And next to the regular price tag and the standard energy label, we added these. A small note, making it easier for the customers themselves to compare the actually total costs. What happened? What do you think? Of course, something very interesting. The customers bought on average tumble dryers that were in average 5% more energy efficient than before. 5%? Perhaps it doesn't sound very impressive, not individually, but if all appliances sold in Europe were on average 5% more efficient, we could save more than 10 million tons of CO2 every year. 10 million tons of CO2. <laughs> and 10 million tons of CO2 equals the annual emissions of 5 million cars, or the entire CO2 emissions from Kenya, or Luxembourg. <laughs> in other words, this means that theoretically, in Europe, we could save 10 million tons of CO2 next year. A small measure, once scaled up, a huge effect. But let's be honest, greener tumble dryer will of course never save the world alone. The most important progress is in the hands of these guys. They must not only improve, but totally transform our energy system. I'm a die-hard optimist and a strong believer in democracy and diplomacy. But major change takes time. Whatever these heads of states agree upon, 
will not take effect before 2020. Best case. So while they are arguing about where to cut emissions and who should pay the bill, we can actually save and even make money right here, right now. Because just like in a tumble dryer case, there are so many quick fixes out there that we can't afford to miss and don't have time to delay. But interestingly, still, there is a gap. A huge gap between what we know, the technologies we possess, and what we actually apply. Today, there are so many measures out there that's not only cost-efficient, but even profitable. So why don't we apply them? In some cases, we need regulations. In other cases, we need both carrots and sticks. But you will be quite surprised of how many times all it takes is a nudge. The word nudge means a gentle push or a friendly signal to gain attention. The behavioral economists, however, define it slightly more sophisticated. They say nudging is a way of designing choices to alter people's behavior in a predictable or desirable way without prohibiting any options. Behavioral science is nothing new. Indeed, it has been applied in marketing for decades. But it's a new tool in the climate battle. So, two years ago, I set up a small foundation called Green Nudge to identify measures to alter people's behavior in an environmentally friendly way, without prohibiting any options or substantially changing costs. No pointing fingers, merely a helping hand, minor adjustment with major impacts. We started out studying energy-efficient tumble dryers. Then we took on food waste. In a large-scale experiments in more than 50 restaurants, we showed what women know, size does matter. Have a look at these two plates. You wouldn't believe it, but they contain the same amount of food. It turns out that with the big plates, we end up helping ourselves with more food than we can eat. So, just by replacing the big plates with smaller ones at buffets, we managed to show that food waste could be reduced by an average of 20%. <laughs> Twenty percent, twenty percent less waste. The managers are wasting less food, thereby saving more money. Reducing food waste reduces greenhouse gas emissions. And finally, the guests, they are just as happy. Again, a triple win simply by shrinking the plates. Green nudging can make a real and immediate difference typically within the areas of food, transport, and housing. And in Greenwich, we are constantly on lookout for new studies on how to nudge people to move, to eat, and live greener, healthier, and happier. And we are trying to find out how companies can turn corporate responsibility into corporate opportunity. Allow me to finish where I started. The tumble dryer case has already been exported internationally. In UK, the British Department of Energy and Climate Change is currently reproducing our study. And if the results turn out as good as ours, they are considering making lifetime pricing mandatory along with the EU energy label. Just imagine how that can spur green innovations among manufacturers worldwide. 
And I'd love to see if a similar nudge or similar nudges could be applied to selling ink-saving printers, fuel-efficient cars, and even love energy houses. Because there are millions of triple wins out there, with great gains for the environment, for business, and for all of us sitting here. Small, love-hanging fruits simply waiting to be identified, implemented, and scaled up. So while we keep on pushing these guys to become faster and bolder, we can all get a good head start towards a more sustainable future, and maybe a nice profit too, with a gentle green nudge. So, while some say that good things come to those who wait, I say, change and fortune happens to those who can't wait. That was my little nudge to you. Thank you for having me.